Lovelies, I hope you're all well. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is if I'm not using Snap Matte, how do you know where to place your engraving? So if you're doing an engraving on say an acrylic shape that's not a normal shape, how do you do it? So if you're using a company like Acrylic Craft and equally there'll be companies in the States that are similar, where well you can get templates from to do with your design that you've bought. So if you've bought a bauble or a star, you will have a digital design that you can then bring into Design Space and you can appropriately size. However, that's not always possible. So if you've just picked up a two millimeter acrylic circle or a two millimeter acrylic star, it can be really difficult to know where you're going to place if you're not using snap mat and even snap mat has a degree of error so today i'm going to show you on a two millimeter bauble which i did get from acrylic craft but i'm not going to use the file i'm going to place it myself i've also got this beautiful single line file which i will link to in the description below also in the description below is a 10 percent off code for the cricut us store so if you're in usa or canada you can use that it's 10% off except for electrical items and you also get free shipping as well as long as your order's over $50. And I'll link to all the things I use in this tutorial as well. So the first thing I want to do is actually create my bauble shape. So I'm currently set to centimetres because it's easier but if you don't know how to change from inches to centimetres and vice versa just click your settings at the top of your canvas come into settings and you can either choose imperial which is inches or metric which is centimeters. So my basic size of my bauble in terms of the circle size is 12 centimeters so I'm just going to get a shape and I'm going to make it 12 centimeters and I'm going to change the line type from a cut to an engrave. Then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to make it the size of the area I'm actually going to have my design. Don't forget if you're using the engraving tool you need to mask around your item so it's masking taped onto your mat. So you need to think about that as well. So I'm going to make the actual area I'm using 10 centimeters. Then I'm going to highlight, I'm going to align and center and I'm going to attach those two together. Then I'm going to actually create my design. So I've got this file here, I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to grab the Merry Christmas and the truck and also one or two of the snowflakes. And then the rest of it I'm just going to delete. So I need to change these from a cut to an engrave and I can do that again by changing the line type. And because these are single line designs, they come into design space and when I change them to an engrave, I don't get that double line. And I'm then going to work out where I want them to go within my design. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to remove my attached circle out of the way and I'm going to make sure these are all engraved and then I'm going to attach them together. If I was doing a star, I would use a star shape, square, a square shape and so on and so forth. It's not going to be possible to do it with every shape out there but you can at least get a rough estimate even if you're doing a uh, dog tag or even the jewelry bracelets you can create the rough shape and as long as you use a measuring tape and normally it's easier in centimeters you can then get pretty much the size you're working with as well once i'm happy i can then go to make it so at this point we're going to switch across to the camera and i'm going to show you my mat so i've got a purple mat here and i've got my acrylic shape both sides will normally have a covering on. I've removed the covering from one side, but I've kept the protective covering on the other side. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to strategically place it on my mat. 
So the top of my circle where my bauble begins, I'm going to have on the three grid. So it's going to start on three and my actual side of my circle is going to start on four. I'm then going to use my brayer to secure that in place. And I've also got some masking tape to tape that down. And I'm just going to tape it just slightly on the edges. Which is why I've done two circles because obviously I do not want to be engraving over my masking tape. So if we go back into design space, before I go to make it, because I have used inches on my mat instead of centimetres, I'm actually going to go to settings and I'm going to change it from metric to imperial. If I was using the centimetre guide, then I'd keep it on metric, but I'm not. I'm using the inch guide because it's easier for me. And I'm going to place my circle exactly where it's placed on my mat. So if we just move this out the way, so the top of my circle is at three and the side of my circle is at four. I can then bring my design over and place it within there. And if I need to zoom in, I can. Once I'm happy with the placement of my design, if I select my circle, you'll see it comes up with three dots here. If I click on that, I can move object or hide selected. So I'm going to hide it. And that will leave me with just my design in its exact placement. I can then go to continue. I can select my maker because of course the engraving tip is only available on your Cricut maker. Everything is set to engrave so I can only choose materials that are compatible with the engraving tip. So I'm going to choose acrylic thick two millimeters and it'll tell me to load my engraving tip and we can start engraving. First thing I need to do is take my premium blade out, get my engraving tip and place that into my B clamp, which is of course B for blades. Load my mat and just a tip as well, if you make sure when you load your mat that you're pushing it against one of these grooves, if anything ever goes wrong and you need to unload halfway through a cut or a draw or an engrave, you can actually pretty much get it spot on if you made sure that you've put it right against those grooves. It doesn't always work, but it gives you a fairly good chance of working. Once it's engraved, I can unload the mat. Just a tip as well, if you blow from the front of the machine, so you're blowing from the front to the back, you'll dislodge any uh, engraving dust that's been left in your machine. Now there is a lot of dust on here, so what I like to do is I like to remove the masking tape gently and then flip my mat over so that I'm getting as little dust as possible onto my mat. I then come in and blow the dust away. Equally, you can get your masking tape onto your finger and then use that to also pick up the dust without scratching your acrylic. I can then remove the backing. And I can either use a light like this to display my 
design and show how perfectly centered it is i can use some acrylic paint markers which you can get from arteza or from uh, amazon and i'll link to both both for the states and the us and you can then add those to your acrylic pieces and they look beautifully colored and very lovely